Well, it's kind of like living in a wildlife movie. This started nine months ago when I had a female raccoon living in my attic, and it was no big deal. She was running in, running out, teasing the dogs in the alley, having a good old time, and then all of a sudden, one day, she decided to have a litter. And then one fell. And it has been scratching around in there forever, for three days, three days and three nights. Do you mean we have to cut more than one hole? <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, it's my like God. Oh, there is two. Yeah, I heard you guys forever in there. I didn't know there'd be two of you, really. Oh, I bet they're so happy to be out of there. OK, now we're going to cut them back with their mama. Well, I don't want them to go back up there and live there, though. No, no. I want them. No, ah. we'll, we'll move them all out. It's weather, but we may be able to trap the mama oh. with the babies. Come on, honey. Oh. I'll be back tomorrow. And we're going to try to repel her out. We're going to hang some lights, put a radio up there on an extension cord, put on rap music or something. It just annoys them really bad. Uh -huh. And they almost always just take off. She'll move them herself that way. Wow. I really like that thing, even though I hate hearing it in my wall. You really but like now I'm you. safe. I'm mm -hmm. sweet. Bye. Say, ooh, did you hear See a growl? <laughs> I'll call you before I come back. It'll probably be an hour and a half, a couple hours. I'll be I am glad that they're going to be out of my house. They they don't need to live in my attic. They, that's not where they belong. Because mom's going to be a little annoyed because see, she's a little bit dehydrated yet. They need to be in the wild where they're supposed to be. Okay. This is no home for a raccoon. This is a home for a family. That's it.